NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are set to return to Earth as SpaceX's Dragon capsule successfully docked at the International Space Station. The Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Florida and is tasked with bringing the stranded astronauts back home in February. This will mark another milestone for SpaceX's ongoing partnership with NASA. Here's our final report on more. It was a mission that was supposed to be routine. Just eight days in space aboard Boeing's new Starliner capsule. But for NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, that mission turned into an unexpected and extended stay. Shortly after Williams and Wilmore arrived at the ISS, problems started to emerge. The Starliner began to show signs of trouble, including helium leaks and malfunctioning thrusters. After weeks of testing and assessing the capsule's condition, NASA made a difficult decision. It wasn't safe to bring Williams and Wilmore back to Earth in the Starliner. Failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. The capsule would return empty, leaving the two astronauts stranded in orbit. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. While NASA engineers worked to troubleshoot the Starliner, the two astronauts made the most of their time aboard the ISS, contributing to ongoing experiments and helping with daily operations. But as the months passed, it became clear that their homecoming would require a different plan. Enter SpaceX. With their reliable Dragon capsule, already a proven method of shuttling astronauts to and from the space station, the company was called upon to assist. And after several months of preparation, the Dragon was ready. The launch of SpaceX's Crew-9 mission finally took place on a Saturday afternoon from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Lifting off aboard the Falcon 9 rocket. Aboard the Dragon were NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov. They were tasked with a two-part mission, join the ISS crew and most importantly, bring Williams and Wilmore back home. Then, after a smooth journey, the Dragon capsule docked with the ISS at precisely 17.30 Eastern Time on Sunday, 265 miles above Botswana in southern Africa. Inside the space station, there were smiles all around, as Haig and Gorbunov were greeted by their fellow astronauts and the relief palpable after months of uncertainty. Welcome to the International Space Station. And Nick, welcome back home to the International Space Station. It's great to be here with bringing the 72 back up to 11. So at first off, I just want to say thank you to the teams that got us ready to fly Freedom to the station. And, uh, and it was a awesome ride. Um, and coming through the hatch and seeing all the smiles, and as much as I've laughed and cried in the last 10 minutes, I know it's going to be an amazing expedition. So I'm really looking forward to getting to work up here. NASA has already confirmed that Williams and Wilmore will be returning home in February, next February, ending their unexpected eight-month stay in space. In the meantime, Haig and Gorbunov would spend five months on the ISS, diving into scientific research with around 200 experiments planned for their mission. So I'm very happy to be here in this huge, amazing <laughs> laboratory, <laughs> International Space Station. And I'm looking forward to, to working with this crew, Expedition 72, and with people who are supporting us on the ground, MCC Houston, MCC Moscow. While it was a moment of triumph for SpaceX, it's also a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of space travel. Boeing's Starliner has faced setbacks, but the stranded astronauts are finally on track to return home, where Boeing failed, but SpaceX delivered. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.